Welcome to Idea Ken Platform Demonstration for Innovation Seeker. Seeker is an individual or a team seeking innovation around a particular challenge, pain area, or even an opportunity. Let me show you how an innovation seeker uses Idea Ken Platform for collaborative innovation. Of the three broad activities a seeker does, let's elaborate activity 1, submit the challenge. Alex, an innovation seeker has already signed up earlier, using sign up now link, and will perform the role of challenge submitter. Alex signs in using his email and password. When signed in, seeking innovation starts with submitting a new challenge, and has three simple steps, define the challenge, define teams and schedule, and define the reward. In step 1, define the challenge, Alex starts with the challenge title and the image, which will identify his challenge from here on. Next, Alex provides a challenge brief, which includes, a background on the challenge, he intends to get solved, the expected outcome, or anything that Alex would like to share with solvers, but most importantly, the information which could, help the solvers understand the challenge. He could also optionally attach supporting files. Alex then reiterates key expectations, which the solution should deliver, categorized in two parts, must need, and, good if met. This formatting forces one to prioritize, and bring out the real expectations. Solution exclusions are approaches already known, and or not of interest to the seeker team. Moving on to step 2, define teams and schedule. Here Alex essentially would define the seeker team, who will own the challenge, and the solver team to whom, he would request for providing solutions. Alex who is submitting the challenge, can propose a sponsor and the team leader. Sponsor is responsible for approving the brief and the reward and team leader, oversees the challenge execution. Let's put David as a sponsor, and Alex himself as a team leader. In a smaller or leaner enterprise, all three seeker roles could be performed, by a single individual. Alex and David, also have an option to bring in reviewers, who can help, evaluate the solutions, submitted by solvers. Next, the solver team area allows Alex to define, from whom to solicit solutions, and also control, who would work on the challenge. Here Alex has three options to choose from. First, the identify team of specific solvers, that are known to Alex, for whom he can simply enter the email IDs. Second, Alex without naming someone as solver, could choose option, anybody from my enterprise, to work on the challenge, a great way to get your employees, to collaborate to innovate. Finally, Alex could opt to open the challenge, to anybody in the universe, the ultimate way to reach global pool of talent, external to the enterprise. By selecting the right combination, of these three options, Alex could achieve the precise solver base, he has in mind. Next comes the tentative schedule for challenge, simply enter the start and end dates, in platform creates the most optimum schedule for the available time. Here in the schedule, you can see various stages with primary responsibilities, start and end dates, status for each stage and where you are currently. Great way to keep tab on the schedule, once the innovation is underway. Moving on to step 3, define the reward. Here Alex mentions the reward, which the sponsor, intends to give away for solutions, that meet the expectations. Alex could also specify a non-monetary reward. He could have both monetary, and non-monetary reward for the challenge, or he can have either of them. At any point, one can save the challenge for later use. Let's go ahead and submit the challenge for sponsor approval, in this case for David's approval. As you can see, Alex can keep tab on the status from his dashboard, once the challenge is submitted for approval. The platform provides a simple workflow between, the submitter, and the sponsor. In this case between Alex and David. Now let's flip over to what David sees and does. As David was informed via an email, 
he clicks on the challenge link and signs in to check the challenge submitted to him for approval. David, in the capacity of a sponsor, can make any changes to the challenge himself or send it back to the submitter with his notes. For current scenario, let's assume there is no revision required. Next, David selects the payment option. Let's select Pay Now. If David selects Pay Later, then same can be paid by anybody to whom David delegates it to. The payment done is kept safely in IdeaKen's secure escrow account, which is released to the solvers only when David clicks Confirm Reward, indicating the positive outcome. David goes ahead and approves the challenge, which makes the challenge available to the solver's base selected by the Seeker team. That completes the demo for Activity 1, where we saw how a Seeker submits the challenge, and an optional simple workflow among the Seeker team members. Next, we recommend you watch demo for Activity 2, Collaborate with Solvers. Thank you for watching.